files are actually bigger than I thought they would be, so it's not like I'm going to be finishing one file in a tasting, so I might as well just do, you know, a small dram of each one, basically. So I do have the Breckenridge. I do have the Breckenridge, which is a bourbon whiskey.
is going to be smoky. Seems like that's going to be the dominant flavor here with bitter oak, cherry, biscuit, pepper, dried fruits, nutty, apple, and grape. Okay. Let's see what the... So we're going to go with the Breckenridge first, and I'm just going to pull up the distiller. sweet and 
tasting honey and very light banana. Very light and sweet. Really taste the honey and vanilla with spicy undertones. Light taste and sweet. Alright, yeah, it's gonna be light. It's gonna be sweet with a little bit of toasty, spicy flavors to it. Uh, yeah, it seems like that's what we can expect with the Breckenridge. Okay. And then with the few whiskey. As for some of the community reviews, there's so few, I don't know if we're going to get a good one, but let's see what people have to say. Alright, first one says, nose, strong cereal, some sour fruits, sour dough. On the palate, toasted whole grain bread, some light green sap notes, a bit of sour tannins, light mouthfeel, and finish is going to be dry on your tongue. Toasted, grain, toasted grains, linger through. Sour fruits is going to be an interesting one to look 
is caramel, sugar, and cigar smoke overall unpleasant on the nose. I mean, caramel and sugar is fine, but cigar smoke. I mean, I guess that's not pleasant from the whiskey itself as opposed to just having it with a cigar. Body is intense. Jalapeno, smoke, cream, possibly some chocolate. It's interesting, but I can't call it pleasant. Uh, it's so peppery and spicy. Like jalapeno peppery. Spicy. Okay. The finish is also going to be spicy. And acidic. Liquid hot sauce. It turns your stomach. I think I've just developed GERD. After you recover, there's a decent peak. Last two seconds of this drink are the best, but then you don't want to go back. Okay. Yeah, they follow up with this. I'm relatively new to scotch, so with all the appropriate caveats and humility, I assert this is not great. If I'm way off, please let me know. I have a drop or two left in the vial, but unless there's something major that I'm missing, I'm pouring it out. This reminds me a lot of that tickled Tabasco nonsense. It's interesting on paper, and introducing an acidic hot sauce note does foster some mildly interesting interaction. However, I can't say that it's enjoyable, and I want nothing to do with it. Well, that's uh, disappointing. Strong flavor at the start, even sound at the end. Okay, nichts Besonderes. This is medicinish. That's in German, I guess. Uh, okay, this is too long. I'm not going to read this. It's hard, peppery, ginger, light mouthfeel, honey, smoke finish, light peach. Light vanilla notes, easy drinking daily scotch. Okay, well, you know what I mean? The reviews aren't terrible for this, but they're also not great. Not expecting much from the Wolf Burton. But now I think I have enough ammunition to begin my tasting. So, let's start with the Breckenridge. Let's get a whiff of the nose, which we are expecting to have. Corn, toast, butter, subtle notes of vanilla, caramel, honey, banana, and bread, and oak. It certainly smells like a bourbon. Caramelly, very vanilla, very bourbony. <laughs> like, yeah, I can definitely smell the oak. Some corn, I think, too. Did I write corn? Yeah, I did. Butter, I, yeah, I guess so. Definitely toasty, a toasty whiskey. It's not very overwhelming in terms of the aroma. It actually smells pretty light. I'm not really getting any fruity, any fruity smells to it. Like I'm not picking up banana or anything. Maybe like a whole whole grain bread. Um, yeah, it's not much. It doesn't really provide much of a whiff to me. much else from this. I think a lot of it really is subtle. Okay, before I take the palette, I'm just going to uh, make sure I'm cleansing my palette with the water first. Okay. Yeah, nothing else. Let's see.
toasted, yeah, I think of whole grain bread, like toasted whole grain bread. Maybe slightly more toasted than the, the normal, I don't know. Um, dried fruits, yeah. And they have banana here too. The banana is pretty big on this diagram. I really didn't pick up any banana on here. I think I got more floral notes than banana. party going on in here. Super sweet and I definitely smell like citrusy tones to it. Did I write that down? Sour fruits, yeah. This is so unique compared to anything I've ever smelled before for whiskey. Yeah, ginger for sure on here. Hickory wood, I mean, for hickory wood I imagine like maple syrup and bacon and all those other southern kind of flavors. Do I get out on here? Not necessarily. I'm really, really, I'm really getting ginger, lemon, orange. Yeah. Green apple. Uh, some sort of apple, yeah. It's tart. It's got a very tart aroma. This is so interesting. This is... Edgy. 
tasted a whiskey like this before, actually. It's very exciting. I wouldn't rank it as one of my favorites, but it's not bad. It's, it's different. It's a unique experience for me. Maybe there's a lot more out there similar to it. I don't know. Maybe rice or more like that. But I doubt it, based on what I've read. Um, I forgot to give seasons, but I'm gonna, I still have a little bit left for each one, so I'll do the seasons at the very end. cigar smoke, I don't know what that person was thinking with that. It just smells very light. You know, it, it kind of smells like a Japanese whiskey, actually. Maybe that's it. The Kikori. I think this smells very much like the Kikori. And Japanese whiskey is very light as well. Not just in the flavor, but also in the actual color of the whiskey. So that's what I'm thinking that this is going to be similar to.
fan of it, actually. Despite all the bad reviews on it, I think I could definitely sip on this whiskey, and I, would, I could definitely see myself buying a bottle of it. I think the palate is more complicated than the nose. The finish has a very strong kick to it. Spicy and peppery aftertaste to it. It still lingers, I guess, if you had like a, a pepper. See, that's where the jalapeno comes in for me because, like, just like a jalapeno pepper or any sort of spicy red pepper, the taste lingers. That's what's happening with this scotch for me. I wouldn't say it's acidic, I think it's quite smooth actually. And I'm not really feeling the afterburn, more just that aftertaste. tasting set for the Flavier subscription that I just got. It's definitely either a late summer or an early autumn, but I'm going to go ahead and say it's, an, it's a late summer whiskey. I gotta write that down because I'm going to forget. I think in general, the bourbons, I tend to rate them as either summer or seem like winter or spring types to me. Okay, and then with the few. Uh, the super complicated party whiskey. I think it's going to be a summer. summer for me like midsummer or any part of summer early to midsummer yeah that's 100 percent of summer whiskey to me and then the wolf burn which 
I think was better as an experience for me and hopefully with this video for people that are watching it. But it also now limits my whiskey stock and I'm going to have to buy more whiskey soon if I'm doing it every other Thursday basically. But I still have a couple things left. And, um, I still have the Johnny Walker series that I got as a gift and also I have the bottle of the Hercules Mulligan rum and rye that came with this starter kit as well. So basically with Flavier you get one starter kit with three vials in it and it's curated and you choose whatever one you want from a list that they have basically. You get that once a quarter, so once every three months. And you also get one bottle of whiskey with it. So I chose the Hercules Mulligan. Uh, it seemed like it was an exclusive one for Flavier. I can't remember if it was or not, but I just, you know, Hamilton. Find the link to do the um, the refer a friend code if you do want to sign up for Flavier, because then basically you'll get a free whiskey or points towards getting a free whiskey, and so will I. Win win, blah blah blah. You know the drill. But thanks so much for watching this video, everybody. 